Hi and welcome back to another A-Level Biology video. This one is about HIV. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It attacks the immune system and causes AIDS, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. In this video, we'll look at the structure of the HIV virus and then see how it replicates. All viruses consist of some genetic material enclosed in a protein capsid. In HIV, the genetic material is RNA. An enzyme called reverse transcriptase is also present inside, and this enzyme will be very important later. Outside the capsid, HIV is surrounded by another layer called the envelope, which is studded with attachment proteins. Let's see how the HIV virus replicates. First, the virus uses its attachment proteins to bind to a receptor on the surface of a helper T cell. Helper T cells are extremely important in the immune response. You can find out more about them in the immune response video. Next, the virus releases its capsid into the T cell the capsid breaks down so that the viral RNA is now in the cytoplasm. Here, the reverse transcriptase enzyme gets to work, using the RNA as a template to make a strand of DNA. This is the reverse process of what happens in transcription in eukaryotic cells, where DNA is used as a template to make RNA. Once the piece of DNA is made, it is inserted into the human DNA and all the T cell can do is carry out the instructions. The instructions cause the T cell to start producing all the components needed to make the new HIV virus. The proteins for the capsid, more reverse transcriptase, more RNA and more attachment proteins. These components are assembled and new viruses bud off, taking some of the T cells membrane with them to make their envelope. They can now go and infect more T cells. Infection with HIV causes serious health problems. Although it can have a very long latency period lasting up to 10 years, eventually the helper T cell numbers will fall below a certain level and the person then develops AIDS, where they're unable to fight off even mild infections, such as a cold. There is currently no cure or vaccine for HIV, but it can be treated with antiviral drugs, which slow down the progression of the disease. In the next video, we're going to see how we can test for HIV.